Aloha, Hugh Riley with Maui Resort Realty, and uh, I'm going to discuss a topic that maybe is is relevant to real estate, but it's it's more on, on the bigger picture. And uh, it'd be interesting to if, when I'm chatting with people if, if this resonates a little bit where they're living. But housing is becoming a ever more pressing issue, and it's not just in resort communities like here. We're seeing it in urban centers. Uh, affordability of housing is causing people to have to leave and then that's vacating jobs and um, you know causing uh, challenges in our business sector. I know that uh, when I was mayor of Whistler uh, I started in 96 and within a year or two we created the Whistler Housing Authority and started building housing knowing full well that uh, you know the motto was he who has the best housing will have the best employees and so the housing that we built the key was we did rentals and for purchase but they were meant and intended to always be um, affordable in perpetuity. So they were deed restricted and price control. So as, as we would tell people, we're giving you a nest, not a nest egg. And so um, there's a lot of detail in it. It's been very successful. And the fact is some 25 years later, they're still looking for more housing of that nature to help um, keep people in the community. Um, and so why is that? Why, why is that such a critical element? Because the reality is, is that a place in Maui's a perfect example, we all think of the aloha and the great um, welcome you get and, and how you're treated. But if the people that live in, and are the front lines um, aren't, are suffering and they're working two, three jobs and they're not happy, then that whole aloha spirit deteriorates. And then pretty soon the very reason why the people are coming here um, starts to make it feel, eh, well, it's not that great, you know, the service isn't great and restaurants aren't opened and, you know, it's very expensive. And, and so it's, a, it's the start of a decline that you, you really wouldn't want to see happen. So I think it's the responsibility. I mean, our politicians are re responsible, but we vote them in. So when we're talking to them, um, I always bring it up when I'm looking at officials and they're running here. I said, how do you feel about housing? Because they have a housing program here, but I always challenge them. I said, the way it's set up, in 10 years, the people can sell it for whatever they want. So how does that make it affordable for the next couple or family that needs a place? And people think, oh, it's just the low income workers. But when houses are at a million plus dollars and more, um, it's firemen, it's nurses, it's teachers. Um, it's not just our service sector, it's the whole fabric of our community and how they can afford to, to be here. And what I found in living resorts both summer and winter is that people will sacrifice. Um, they'll do a lot of things to live in a very special place. And there's no doubt this is one of them. If they can have reasonable housing and they can sort of cover that, it's not so bad after that. Um, people can get insurance with their jobs. Um, the ocean's free. You, there's nowhere to drive. Your car lasts forever. Um, you don't need a lot of clothes, which is nice. I mean, shirts and t-shirts and sandals. And um, you can have a great time and a great life here. But that housing nut is the one. And I think it's, it's showing its face all over the country. And so it's an interesting topic that I think everyone who votes should be engaged in and, and looking around in your own community because if you want to be selfish, the, the value of your asset here in Maui is, is well determined by how well do we do our business, which is tourism. And so we need to look after these people and maintain the true Aloha spirit that's here. Anyway, food for thought. thought it was an interesting topic. Wanted to cover it. Elections are coming up in the next couple of months. So um, if you have a chance to ask a politician about it, I'd be curious to see how they respond. Aloha.